Hi everyone, and welcome to Finance Fridays with Bay State Savings Bank. My name is Ariana Delastrito, and today we'll be continuing our discussion of interest rates, focusing specifically on interest that is due when you borrow money. To recap, this interest is a set amount of money added on to the final loan amount as a surcharge for borrowing. When you borrow money to purchase things like a home or a car, you will almost always have to pay interest in addition to paying the loan back. The interest rate is important because it gives you a sense for how much interest you'll have to pay. But the APR, short for annual percentage rate, is equally, if not more important, because it factors in the cost of borrowing the funds over the life of the loan. For example, two loans might have the same interest rate, say 3%, but the APR for one of the loans might be much higher if, for example, one of the lenders charges more in closing costs. You should remember to look at the APR when you are looking for a loan because it helps you compare loans better than just the interest rate. When shopping for a loan, be sure to find out whether the interest rate can change. If it can change, the rate is variable, and that means the interest rate might go up, which means your payment might also go up, depending on the terms of the loan. Variable interest rates are sometimes viewed as riskier over time compared to a fixed interest rate loan that provides certainty. Because of that certainty, however, Fixed interest rates tend to be a little higher than the initial rate on a similar variable loan, making variable rates potentially better suited for the short term. How interest is calculated is another important thing to consider. Interest is typically either treated as simple interest or compound interest. Simple interest is calculated based on the money that is originally lent to the borrower. Compound interest, on the other hand, is typically calculated based on the original amount and on the additional interest accrued as it becomes outstanding. I understand that interest can be a confusing topic, so if you still have some lingering questions, please feel free to get in touch with us by emailing marketing at baystatesavings.com. We'd be happy to help you get in touch with one of our group groups. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in to our next episode on Friday, October 2nd. We'll see you then.